Hi everybody. It's been months since I've made a video. I had issues with the little thing that goes to my camera. Um, it broke and so I finally rigged up something new. So here we go. Um, today I'm just doing a remake of one of my um, regular soaps that I make and that I sell in, on my website. Um, it's 100% natural so soap um, um, with essential oils. Um, it's orange clove and I always put Moroccan red clay in it. And so there's my Moroccan red clay. It's all mixed up. I put a little bit of um, some of my oils in there to liquefy it. And then here is my essential oils. I have some um, regular white kaolin clay in here. <laughs> the white kaolin is supposed to um, help make the essential oil um, last. It makes it stick in your soap. And because orange always seems to fade, um, here's a little bit of orange peel powder that I'm going to add to it. And um, I'm going to split uh, this batch and color part of it with the red clay. And then I am going to use this little, um, this little thing. I've kind of whacked at it so that it will fit inside my mold. Um, to um, give my soap a texture and then I'm going to do a ch uh, chalk line with some activated charcoal. This little thing is, um, I got it at Michael's. It's what they use to texture um, your cake frosting on your cakes. And yeah, I just whack the sides off. And This will be the first time I'm using it in here so we'll see how that works. So, um, my oils are all ready and my lye's ready. Um, we're about 95, 100 degrees on the soaping temperature. So, uh, because um, I'm using um, essential oils, the clove oil is known as a accelerator. So, I will add only as much as I need when I need it to my oils when I split them up. So, okay, here we go. Oh, I have sodium lactate and Tussa silk in my lye water.
I do want this to get thick so that I can um, put my texture in. Pound this down a bit. Top that I haven't added anything in is getting thicker than the other. This recipe does have a lot of hard oils in it though. I start stirring that. So there's my texture. I don't know if you can see it real well. Now a little activated charcoal.
Okay. I might want to wipe this off so it doesn't end up all over the sides. Because charcoal does make a mess. As you can see. Okay, so. And I still have to put the EO in this. All the little orange peel specks in here. Kind of cool. Most of the time when I make this soap, I just kind of do a in the pot swirl something really easy and simple just because it does get a little thick. But this time I thought we would change it up a little bit. Put a chalk line in there. I've done chalk lines on a few of my soaps. They look really neat. I think it looks neat. Nice effect. Probably going to let this set up just a smidge before I, um, I think it's still too, a little bit too, uh, soft to hold a shape, so I'll see what I can do though. Grab my spoon. doesn't want to hold a shape yet. So maybe I'll just do this.
pound. There you go. We're back for the cut in the morning. I think I've had enough coffee quite yet. But I am excited to see how the chalk line turned out with the texture. Right now it doesn't look like pattern did anything. We'll see how it looks. We get through the soap. It smells really good. Well, that one has a little bit of a wave line. And you can see the texture that uh, orange pill powder gave it up here. I know my owie looks like activated charcoal, but it's a blood blister. That's what happens when you hit your thumb with a hammer. <laughs> really hard. A little bit of a wave. I like it though. throw this in the oven on warm for about a half an hour just to get it to go through gel, make sure it went through gel. I will be um, putting this video on my website along with this soap. A lot of customers like to see how it's made. Their soap looks like that and see how it's made. Oh, that one was kind of cool. A little bit of a wave pattern in there. So if you would like to purchase this soap, you can look for it in about four to six weeks on my website, www.lisasnaturalherbalcreations.com. We have a blog too, where I write fun soapy stories. you like this video, like and subscribe my YouTube page. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully it will be soon. I have a lot of fun making the videos, even though I'm nervous most of the time. <laughs> There's the end. Bye, everybody.